Hi everyone, I'm Yo and this is Virginia. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Knowing, Caring and Loving Your Lady Parts. So today we have a great video for you about female anatomy. So let's get started. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you get all the notifications of my next videos. And let's talk about knowing your lady parts. Oh, Virginia and I have a question for you. How many of you amazing women have ever actually looked at yourself in the lady part area? So you know what your normal is. So today is your lucky day because Virginia and I have a great video for you today to give you tips on knowing what your normal is in your lady parts and you're going to get acquainted with your vulva. So to start off, we're going to talk about the vulva and vagina. So how many of you know the difference between those two terms. Often, those two terms are used interchangeably and guess what? They're not the same. Oh, what's that, Virginia? Oh, she wanted to tell you actually that she is a vulva. So let's talk about what a vulva is and we'll use Virginia to demonstrate this. If you look at Virginia, what do you see? Ah, oh, she wanted to let you know that she's sporting something pretty fancy to match me today, by the way. And we'll talk about that part in a minute. So if we're looking at the vulva, what we're talking about is actually the entrance or the door to the vagina, which is the elastic muscular tube where the baby comes out when the baby's born and also where your partner penetrates. So the vulva is the door to the vagina. So what do we see on Virginia here? Well, we see Virginia's beautiful lips. So these are called the outer lips is the labia majora and the inner lips, the smaller lips are called the labia minora. Virginia actually has some skin stuff going on here. So her lips aren't as easily defined. And that can be normal for you, but she has some stuff going on here. What else do we see in the vulva? So there's openings and we have her little button here is actually the urethra, the opening of the bladder where the urine or pee comes out. And then of course you have the opening of the vagina that's often called the vestibule or the introitus and glands here called the vestibular glands. They are really important for secreting lubrication that is really important when you're getting intimate. If they're not acting properly in the lady part area and they're hypersensitive, they can cause some pain during intercourse, which we'll talk about in another video. There's a really important part in the vulva that Virginia is really showing off because she loves that part. And it's that magical part right there that we call the clitoris. So the clitoris is similar to Yes, the male penis, and it actually is erectile tissue like the male penis, but did you know that it actually has more nerve endings than the male penis? So it's pretty sensitive, and because it's so sensitive, it is covered by this little protective layer called the prepuce or the clitoral hood, and that's like an extension of the labia minora or the inner lips. So this area, as you know, is a really magical device where women get a lot of pleasure if it's stimulated properly. Oh. This is the exciting part of the video where we're gonna do a little show and tell. We're gonna take just a normal mirror, actually one that I have in the clinic, and demonstrate how you can meet your vulva. And I think it's really important because it creates that positive connection of knowing your anatomy so you can take better care of it and actually be able to connect with it, which is really, really important. What you wanna do is take a mirror, so it could be any old mirror, make sure you're in a relaxed position, put some lube on if you want, um, and just check yourself out. Virginia here 
is looking at herself in the mirror. And what you wanna do is check out all those different parts of yourself that I mentioned before, and you can refer to in this diagram here, what you wanna look at then when you're examining and feeling and exploring around your vulva and vagina area is have a look at your labia majora and your minora, your, your lips and see what they look like. They all look different and that's your normal and there's nothing wrong with it, that's you. The color of your skin and believe it or not, Everybody's skin has different shades. It's not always that pink color that you see in magazines or people talk about. Often it can be a bit brown, a little bit purplish, reddish, but you wanna know what your normal is. And if so get acquainted with your vulva and don't be afraid to say hello because it's so important to make that connection. Get to know your vulva so you know what it looks like, what your normal is, which is different for everybody. So thank you everybody for tuning in with Yo and Virginia on knowing your lady parts or your female anatomy so you can care and love them. So please tune in to our other videos and don't forget to subscribe and hit that subscribe button. And we look forward to seeing you soon. <laughs>